So again, these are the water mix boils, Grumbacher Max, Burnt Sienna, Thalo, Blue, Thalo Green Blue Shade, Mars Black, it's a very oily alizarin crimson, Thalo Blue, Titanium White, Cad Yellow Light, Yellow Ochre, Cad Yellow Deep, and Grumbacher Red, or Naphthol Red. They're kind of the same. All right, so we're gonna do, there'll be a sky up here. Uh, there's a mountain here and there's some like little glaciers back in here, so I'll figure that out. But this is a really big mountain up here in front. A little lake, some pine trees, so it should be pretty fun. We'll see how it goes. Hope everybody's doing well though. Let's uh let's mix some white and white and blue first. Because there's no magic white on there, so we gotta we gotta lighten it up for ourselves. And I'm just wiping this color on there just so I don't waste what's on the palette knife. And I'll get this brush, pick it up, and then we'll just throw in some sky colors. There should be enough oil on here where this isn't too painful, and I think it is. it does seem pretty slick, so that's good. It's just a little blue, a little bit of white. Here, a little sky over there. It's okay if it goes over the mountains. So we can cover those up. There we go. Wind it in a little bit. Put in some little clouds. I'll just use regular white. Nice little fluffy clouds. This is going to be mostly... Uh, mountains so i'm not going to spend too much time on the on the clouds but just enough time though they usually come out pretty nice with the filbert just throwing in the color here first put one there there's a little one up here i'll blend those out here in a second but right now we're just putting in the whites the white edges Maybe this one, maybe we'll just bring them up the side. Something like this. He's a little bit bigger. There we go. Maybe one there too. A little one, a little tiny one right there. And maybe one down here. And just fill up the back of this guy. Same with this one. There we go. Okay. And I'll use my other brush here. Two inch brush to blend them out. Soften them, as they say. Soften the edges. Just make sure I get all that blue off of there first. There we go. Little circles there at the bottom. Same up here. And over here, gotta be a little careful, but not too careful. If I have my blender brush, I would use that too. These guys can face me a little bit. And then I'll whip them up to the left. Same over here. I don't like the bottom of that one. This guy, just a little bit. There we go. Just kind of smudge them out. There. There's the little clouds up there. Hanging out. All right. Got our little clouds. Now we gotta start putting in mountains or thinking about how the mountains are gonna work. I don't really know yet exactly how I'm gonna do that. But we can figure it out. Hmm, let's see. Let's get the palette knife. Palette knife. Maybe some, what colors we want to use? Browns? These are like gray mountains. Very big, very big and very gray. This lizard and crimson has moved. So is this. They will <laughs> hate it when that happens, but that's okay. Let's see, we need a mountain color that's kind of gray. So let's use some Mars black. This is going to be really strong, so that's probably way too much. 
Let's see if we just throw some white in there, what we get. Completely absorbed. Because Mars Black is too strong. Okay, that's a little bit better. We need some blue. Cool it. Yeah. Some blue. I say some, and I just use a ton. I just want two shades of this. So we got the light one and the dark one. Now I'm going to throw in the farthest away. There's like three ranges here, so I got to figure this out. We're going to have one here. So one right here. And I'll use my other brush to smooth it out. Did you put liquid white on before the blue? No, this is just uh, just oil. No, uh, no liquid white, just oil, linseed oil. I didn't make any because I, when I do um, water mixed oils, I usually have to make it, um, make it myself, the magic white or the liquid white. Um, and I didn't. I don't have enough paint left to really justify putting all of that on like a whole tube of white in to make my own magic white. But. So that's why I just did one, one little thing of oil on the canvas. Okay. There's like our first, first little hill over here. And it's kind of in the shadow, so, or not in the shadow, but you can't really see it very well back here. It's very far away. So we're just going to throw in some accents. Very small, subtle highlight in the back. And then maybe some snow. Some snow in there. Nothing too crazy, though. color we'll put on the shadow back here Some up here and then a little bit up in the top going to get covered up by a mountain so that's why I'm not highlighting the top top side all right I'm gonna put a little bit of snow in there right in the middle so it's got to be kind of dull so I think there's some gray in there that might actually dull it all enough yeah. so it's not straight white you know because we're in the shadow you don't want a straight white paint because that'll look weird Put some snow right here. A little bit comes up, maybe it comes down. Up there, up there. A little rocking motion like this. That kind of works. And then down here is not as important because maybe we'll put a tree or something down there. Okay. All right, there's that left kind of background glacier. I'm not going to touch it. I want to touch it, but I'm not going to touch it because I think it looks fine. Okay. So now, I think I got something on my hand there. What's next? I got to do, I think there was one mountain a little bit farther back. We can use this dark color. He had some crimson. I think a dark purple, maybe. Hopefully this is purple. I don't know. This is the first. Oh, that's too dark though. Because we got one more in front. I don't want it to be that too much maybe. There we go. It's not quite straight, whatever that color is. Because 
we got one more we gotta worry about. Just gotta make sure I aim over top. No, no loose space here in the middle. This one will only be able to see the top edge. In your bio, you are colorblind. Does it affect your painting? Yes, it does quite a bit actually. The um, any reds, reds, purples. Um, I can't really tell the difference between, which is kind of a pain. But <laughs> yeah. Not being able to see, my, my main color blindness is with, and it's not strict color blindness, it's called color deficiency. So when I have reds, any shade of red really, I get it mixed up with other colors. So if I have a, a purple somewhere and a blue somewhere, I can't tell the difference between them. Some, some shades of brown, some shades of orange, uh, I can't tell the difference between those. Uh, so, yeah, it does definitely, affects it. I don't know how. It doesn't seem to bother me too much because I still can paint, but it does get frustrating sometimes. I should have added some white here, but that's okay because I'm using the oils. I'm just smoothing out the edge. There's like a little halo around the mountain. I don't know. It kind of looks fine. I'll blend out the bottom. There. All right, now I gotta lighten up. Um, or not lighten, highlight, sorry. Never used a handheld palette. Maybe I'll try it soon. Yeah, the handheld, I enjoy it. I don't know. I had one that I set on a stand and I knock it over enough that I was like, I need a, I need a handheld one. Able to order Alexander Big Brush via the brush archive. Oh, they have them again? That's awesome. The brush archive, okay. You still paint great. Oh, thanks Erica. Much appreciated. All right, I gotta add some white in here because I forgot I don't have magic white on the canvas. So these are gonna be too dark. So I'm just gonna try to go around the edge with the white. It's gonna look weird, but. Or not weird, but it's gonna be different for a second until I <laughs> until I can fix it. Or adjust, I should say. Fixing implies that it's broken. It's not broken, it's just different. There we go. That's a little bit lighter, I think. Okay. I actually kinda like that as this, but We'll do a palette knife highlight on it just for just because we already did one. Hey Nate, what are you painting? This is Glacier Park in Montana. Glacier National Park, sorry, not Glacier Park. That's what we're doing. And it's gonna be a little bit of a different one. We're using the water mixables today, so lots of different colors. All right, let's uh, just, just highlight some of this. And these are gonna be tall, so I'm gonna be pulling down. Pull fast, so I don't, I don't have to think, I think too much about them. Pull fast. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Ah, that's good. And then from the side, we'll probably need some blue for the shadow. Shadow side over here, a little bit. And a little bit more. I don't have 
have too much left. So. It's not, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay. So there's our second peak. Then we'll get one in front. I paint with my right hand. They make left and right palettes. Which do I order? Uh, right hand. Probably a left-handed palette, I think. Brushes aren't listed on store. Kenny gave you a link you found through Google Images. Oh my goodness. They have all the brushes delisted on the store. That's interesting. If you had to choose between Bill Alexander or Bob Ross, who would you pick? I would pick... Oh, good question. I'm not sure. Who would I pick? I don't know. I think I would... Oh. Like, Bill painted more things. So from that perspective, I like Bill more. But I like Bob's attitude. So it's kind of hard, hard for me to pick one. I'm just clearing up some space here. We've got a bunch of different colors. I'm trying to get... Oh, that didn't work. Sorry if that scraping sounds terrible. Do you think water more mix will pull different? Yes, it is much more sticky. Water mixables have, I don't know what they put in it, but I noticed that they are more, the whatever they use to make them dissolve in the water makes them more sticky. So your paint kind of, it's kind of stretches. It stretches more, more than it does otherwise. I'm just gonna put a little bit of a, more refined edge right there. Okay, kind of looks like a pulse for it. All right, all right, all right. Now we got to do. Uh, I don't want that much black. Well, I just want to use blue and red, maybe it's crimson, crimson, thalo blue. And this is going to be our most forward mountain. I hope this is darker than that. I can't tell. All right, how do we want this to be? I can't really remember, so I'm just gonna make it really tall. This will be interesting. This is like one mountain that comes right in front. throwing some trees or something. All right. Let's see, let's see. We need like a, oh, I can't remember. I can't remember, oh well, we'll just wing it. We need a little edge right here. And I had lines here, so I think are a cliff or some green. Greenery, maybe little trees. So we'll just do those. We'll wing it. That's fine. I'm try to pick up as much of the extra paint as I can. Get all that paint. There's a lot of paint there. We don't need all that. Not for this phase, at least. Where's that brush? There's a brush. Okay. far up there. That's okay. All right. Pull down. Oh, that's nice blue. Is that blue? Is that purple? I can't tell. And then this right here is a lake, so just got to remember. Just get around with the lake there. I'm actually just throwing some light color here. I forgot there's no magic white on here, so it's not actually getting lighter. <laughs> but I'm not pushing down very hard, so that helps. All right. So when you don't have the magic white, just don't use as much pressure. You won't get as much paint. You don't gotta worry. 
worry about being as dark, if that makes sense. All right, all right, let's see. You gotta highlight this mountain now. I think that would be a good high, or shadow side color. And a little bit of crimson. That's too much. A little bit. So it's not straight. Straight white. All right. Oh, we gotta highlight this one. These are gonna be pretty tall. Is that a hair? I'm just going to go down the side. I don't remember if it was like that, but we can make it whatever we want. A very dark color. Alright, maybe it comes up here. Hold it down. A little bit more. Maybe we'll just do it like this. Shadow, where's that shadow? I'll use this. A little bit more blue. A little bit of white. There we go. A little bit more. Okay, there we go. This is just gonna be the top. This might be I might need a I'm actually gonna use a small side. For this part, uh, this is like a split mountain. side that'll help at least for the start and then we can pull with this one pull down here we gotta actually put in the greenery though otherwise this won't make any sense we want to use for that. Oh, we use the uh, fan brush. All right, if I had yellow to that color, what is it going to make? So I don't actually know. Was that violet? Violet plus green? I don't know. Makes something. It makes something. instead of bushes. I forgot this is actual cat yellow, so it's much stronger than what I normally use, which is um, Hansa yellow for water mixables. Have you done painting on something other than a canvas? Yeah, I've done the uh, small ones. Yeah, like Paul was saying. I think I have them still. Yeah, they're over here. They took a while to dry, but yeah, these little tiny wood ones. They make nice uh, Christmas presents, and gifts for people. straight down 
straight down the side. If we have enough color, do we have the right color? Mm -hmm. Not really. At least not for me. Maybe it is for you. Let's add in some. We need some snow up in there, like actual snow, not the uh, like this, like we did right there. So let's do that real quick. Just give me a little bit of the blue tone. Mm, let's see. It's a little hard. I, if I have my, oh, I gotta have my small palette knife somewhere. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Because it's hard to use this big knife on those small space like that. There it is. I almost pulled my whole brush stand over. There we go. All right, we're just gonna pull left to right on this. And then add some bushes down. Down here is all trees. So I gotta add those in. Little tiny trees down there. Alright, where's that brush we use this one? I don't want these to be as bright, so I might just use some thalo green to make them a little bit duller. Well, that's not very dull. I'm just going to push these in around the side. Hopefully I pick up this dark color so they get darker. It's a mountain color we used. from there just pushing in with the fan brush and then maybe pull up because again they're far away shouldn't see any details on them there we go and I'll put some over there too a little bit more of that green darker green these ones are kind of in the shade a little bit taller maybe that might not be dark enough I'll add some more green Thalo green. There we go. Okay. And push in some down here. Around the water edge. We haven't put it in yet. We gotta think about it. Even though I don't like thinking. And there was supposed to be like a rock in there that I forgot, but that's fine. That's fine. Looking good. Thanks, Paul. I painted a four-foot vinyl construction road sign. <laughs> oh, no way. That's cool. Congrats. Halfway through. Oh, yeah, we are halfway through. It's pretty crazy. We've been doing that for a while. Feels like we just started. Paint your dream world here. Hi, paint your dream world. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. All right, let's put in some water. Some water. Water. Let me use this brush that I have all the dark color on. We'll try and get it out first. All right, what color will we use for that? Kind of like that with the blue. The blue and the white. Well, maybe a little bit of green. A little tiny bit. Okay, let's put this in. 
watercolor. You can maybe add a little shimmer to it or something here in a minute. Wipe this brush off real quick. I kind of do want to add some rocks in here before I go too far. Just a little bit of black and white. Just a little too much blue. Get the hiccups. with that fan brush. This has a little bit of green on him. There, okay. There we go. Uncle 60, your work is amazing. Yeah, he has some really good stuff. Have you video recorded some, most, or all? Uh... Probably just some, because I didn't start recording the Bob Ross ones when I was doing all those. I didn't record very many of them. If I did, there would be 400 some videos <laughs> when I went through them. This looks wild. Thanks, Elvis. Nice sofa. Yeah, that's where I put all my um, canvases that I'm not using. It's got paint all over it. <laughs> Don't get paint on it, but it's covered with it on the back. Cause I used to set, I used it to prop up canvases so I could fit more of them out when they were drying. And one of them fell off and stuck to the side. So it's pretty much ruined at this point. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm just making a lighter a light color to kind of mash in here around this water edge. I think it's the same as the color I was using. I'm not entirely sure. this up with a big line of trees a big old line of tree pine trees <laughs> can't remember if I asked have you ever tried acrylics or watercolor I tried acrylics once and they gave me hives I should try them again at some point maybe it was just the brand it was like Utrecht brands or something I don't know but I try them again at some point. All right, let's use the crimson that's migrating. Let's move 
the full inch and a half here. I also use the water soluble wax. I don't know if anyone else has used that before. Well, that worked really well. Sarah Colors, that's what it's called. It's by uh, Natural Pigments. It was really interesting. I only done a couple paintings with it, but they're pretty fun. It dries really fast, like less than a minute, very quick. I'm just throwing in the background color here for the uh, trees. I'm gonna throw some pine trees in here. It's just crimson and phthalo blue. Maybe some Mars black in there. And this is all, I think I said it a little bit ago, but it's all water soluble or water mixable oils and the back is all liquid clear or linseed oil. I haven't used any liquid white because I didn't make any. trees. Might push up, make it a little more fluffy. There we go. Okay. He is allergic. <laughs> yeah. I am allergic to, to plastics, so some types of plastics I am allergic to. Plastics and then some petroleum products, like um, can't use petroleum jelly really. Odorless mineral spirits do the same thing. Gasoline, I'm gonna get gasoline on myself. Same, same deal, just bumps, just little tiny bumps everywhere. Very odd. So I'm not allergic to anything else. Like food wise, none of that. Alright, I'm swiping out the paint on this thing real quick. I kinda wanna there we go. Here's a big blob. A big blob of white there. I don't want to get out. Alright. I've got to add in some pine trees. The old school pine trees. Let's do the fan brush ones. Fan brush pines. I'll just use thalo green. That's a good tree color. Thalo green, that blue, a little bit more. Or whatever color this is. I don't know what color that is anymore. Alright, let's put one here. I like doing the push-up ones, but do them however you want. I don't know. They're pine trees. They can, they can be whatever you want to be, as long as they're straight, straight sticking up. But sometimes they fall over. So. General shape is all that matters. And I'm just doing the tops. I don't know. I kind of want to put a path, but I don't know if it would work from this angle. It's a weird angle. Um, I've been doing a lot of weird angle paintings. Let's do one more. Right here. There we go. Just a little one. You go down there. All right. There's our pine tree line. If anyone is interested, there's a Lego YouTube channel called Fantasy Breaks. Lego Lord of the Rings and Hobbit builds. Oh, cool. I do like the Lego, a lot of Lego um, YouTube channels. They're pretty cool. I just like building channels in general. People build things. There we go. Just wiping the extra paint out of that brush. Now we do some highlights. Cad yellow deep. What does that what does this make? K 
Cad yellow deep and phthalo green. What is this? What color is this? I don't know. Dark green? Light green? I don't know. No idea. Don't ask me. I'm not a color scientist. Orange? I don't know. Not too much on the left of that one. That's okay. There. Just highlight the tops. What we gotta do what we gotta do. Little highlights here in the bottom, down here. I mean, we could do the um, we need to do something with the land. I gotta throw in something here before we start throwing stuff on top. All right, I think that's okay. As long as there's a general shape of land, and then we can add in little highlights with the one inch. This is yellow ochre. I'll probably use all the yellows here in a bit. If I had liquid white, I would use that. But I guess I can use some oil, because it's not going to stick very well without it. Too much probably way too much oh well and if you're using water mixable oils make sure you're using the water mixable linseed oil not regular linseed oil because you run to run into some problems there we go that sticks a lot better i think i did the land going the wrong way oh well that's fine Happens sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I do the land wrong. Okay. Throw some regular yellow here. Cad yellows. Maybe some green. A little more. A little darker. Just a little bit. Oh, I can't see that very well. stuff some bushes and covered up the land that was flowing the weird direction I think that's okay should be fine I don't know if I missed anything I think that's about it it's not too much to this one three mountain ranges that's the big thing Glaciers, glacier formations. All right, I'm just wiping off these brushes real quick. Does someone have paint? Yeah. All right. Let's get the. Do I have a script liner? There's a script line right here. Could have sworn I had one. There we go. It's hiding behind the little fan brush. All right. Let's use some oil here. Naphthol red. It's called Grumbacher red, but it's, if you read the pigment label, it's just uh, Naphthol red. That's what it says at least. Very strong red though. I've been testing out different reds because I don't like how strong naphthol red is. I think I'm going to switch to regular cadmium red here at some point. Whenever I run out of my 
existing naphthols. Got like three tubes left, so that's at least a year, <laughs> two years maybe, worth of red paint. There we go. Rinse it out in the water, soapy water. All right. Let's get the painting taken down. Oh, that's stuck in there. I tightened the bolt. <laughs> Not done too much. There we go. Okay. Here it is. Glacier National Park. Montana.